Egypt on Sunday accused exiled Muslim Brotherhood officials of conspiring with Gaza-based Hamas militants to assassinate public prosecutor Hisham Barakat last year and arrested 14 people in connection with the attack. Hisham Barakat was the most senior state official assassinated since the toppling in mid-2013 of elected President Mohamed Mursi of the Muslim Brotherhood. There was no claim of responsibility for the attack at the time. Hamas spokesman Sami Abu Zuhri denied the accusations, calling them groundless and Incorrect. This plan was executed by an order which was issued by Muslim Brotherhood leaders who have escaped to Turkey in coordination with the armed wing of the Muslim Brotherhood in Gaza, which is Hamas, who played a major role in the execution of this plan and in the assassination of the public prosecutor. Hamas supervised the operation from its beginning to its end. Let's get more details and analysis on this developing story from CCTV's Yasser Hakim, who now joins us live with the latest from Cairo. Yasser, these arrests come nearly a year since the prosecutor's killing. Why has it taken so long? What are the authorities there saying? Well, uh, what we understand, it was very hard for um, the police uh, and officials here to uh, track uh, the perpetrators of the attack. And... Um, the new evidence came after uh, they have managed to uh, arrest uh, a group uh, of uh, uh, um, militants who were planning new attacks in Egypt. And after uh, arresting this group, they discovered the evidences uh, of the plan to kill the public prosecutor last year. And then this led to uh, more information coming out from the arrested and uh, giving uh, a lot of uh, statements uh, to police about how they planned the, the killing of the uh, public prosecutor last year. So it, it started with a plot to, uh, with an attempt to stop a new uh, assassination attempt against other uh, political uh, figures, and they discovered that, the, the, that they were the perpetrators of uh, the previous assassination attempt and other uh, also uh, terrorist attacks uh, in Egypt during the last two years. Now, apart from the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, yes, uh, authorities there have also linked Hamas to the killings. How is this viewed in Egypt and in the region, especially among Palestinians? Right. Uh, in Egypt, uh, this is not news uh, for, for Egyptians. Uh, for the last few years, uh, Hamas has been accused by uh, the, uh, the government, by the media here and the public uh, uh, of uh, taking part in uh, in the terrorist attacks uh, on Sar Bayt al maqdis in, in Sinai that's uh, having attacks against the army there uh, is uh, known to be related to Hamas. The, uh, all these uh, tunnels uh, between the borders of uh, Gaza and Egypt uh, have always been the source of funding, the source of militants uh, and also source of arms going to the militants in Sinai. And Egypt has been for years trying to cut down these um, uh, illegal tunnels under the ground, uh, on the borders, and it's known that it's been uh, funded by Hamas. So for Egyptians, this is nothing new. It's just that Egypt wants more. Uh, it's, it's, there'll be more an anonymity against the Hamas in Egypt. In the Arab world, there is concern because Hamas is seen as a group that is um, against Israel, that is for the resistance of the Palestinians uh, against Israeli occupation. Uh, and uh, they are fearing that Egypt, which has a, a big role in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, uh, will therefore not take a strong stance uh, behind the, the Palestinian resistance. However, Fatah, the other side of the Palestinian resistance, has welcomed the Egyptian uh, statements and has said that it itself has been uh, having a lot of problems dealing with Hamas uh, and that Hamas has been a hindrance to the Palestinian cause. And you know the, the borders between Egypt and Palestine, uh, the, the, the legal borders, Egypt has been saying that it will only open these borders to the Palestinians only if Fatah, not Hamas, the other faction of Fatah, is the one that is in control of the Palestinian side of the borders. And as long as Hamas is in control, then Egypt will not open the borders except in for humanitarian aid and nothing more. So it's been mixed reaction from the Arab world and from uh, other political forces concerning uh, the uh, Egypt statements uh, about Hamas. Egypt said it will not stop there. It will take measures against Hamas soon. It did not announce what measures it will expect to take, but 
uh, Egypt said it will take measures, and there is expected to be a meeting between Fatah and Hamas uh, uh, leaders very soon with Egyptian officials, maybe from the intelligence services. We don't know what will come out of this meeting, but we'll wait and see this week. Uh, whether uh, this will also, we will see uh, more measures taking it uh, against Hamas by Egypt after this meeting. All right, and we shall surely keep a keen eye on that. Uh, Yasser Hakim, live for us there in Cairo. Thank you.